Three weeks ago, a massive cache of secret NASA intercept mission data was illicitly obtained. The 24 gigabytes trove was taken from NASA servers late at night by the hacker collective known as Event Horizon. Among the stolen materials were files labeled 3 I Atlas, tied to the third interstellar object ever documented, containing revelations that appear to have deeply unsettled NASA. According to mission logs from July 18, 2025, the object displayed an abrupt sideways acceleration, similar to a comet defying known physics. Further buried details noted metal-like seams, sudden thermal bursts, and even a mission patch that was never intended for public release. Questions began to mount, why would NASA conceal such findings? And what truly occurred during this intercept that could alter humanity's understanding of visitors from deep space? Event Horizon did not discover NASA servers by chance, they penetrated them deliberately. In the early hours of September 2nd, 2025, a coordinated cyber assault bypassed two layers of agency firewalls by exploiting a security flaw in an outdated mission planning system. Logs revealed a surge of outgoing data. In less than seven minutes, 24 gigabytes of compressed materials were siphoned away without leaving a signature. Only a gap in the audit trail. Hours afterward, a manifesto appeared on encrypted forums in which Event Horizon claimed responsibility calling their attack a challenge to what they termed unlawful concealment of cosmic knowledge. They asserted that the files contained information so guarded that even top NASA officials were unaware of it. Their declaration was direct, the global public had the right to see what scientists had truly found. Forensic experts pieced together the breach timeline. Initial access occurred at 3.14 a.m. Eastern Time. Privilege escalation by 3.19. Data exfiltration began at 3.23 and by 3.30, the connection was severed. During that narrow window, the attackers copied internal communications, draft mission documents, intercept telemetry feeds, and files bearing the three I Atlas code. Classified tags range from confidential to top secret. Although NASA's internal alarms triggered a system lockdown, the breach concluded before most staff began their workday. In the days following, Event Horizon shared blurred screenshots and partially censored memos with selected journalists and online creators specializing in classified science, offering just enough to expose the scope and implications of the stolen materials. The leak revealed more than raw data, exposed a power struggle over who controls the narrative when discovery disrupts established views. Event Horizon's words marked a challenge, the retrieved evidence. They said, would compel humanity to face a new reality with a ticking clock toward disclosure. Images and documents surfaced online before dawn. Each carried bold, confidential stamps. Thick, black redactions concealing much of the text. Metadata showed a 314 Universal Time coordinated stamp identical to NASA's own breach log. In one corner, the mission patch featured a stylized comet passing the blue NASA insignia, marked as 3I Atlas. Every page included unique identifiers, routing codes, and chat handles alongside technical diagrams and incomplete tables. A partially obscured memo listed the trajectory, hyperbolic V sub infills 26.1 kilometers per second, E equals 6.2. Another showed a status log noting, plume anomaly flagged at plus 11.3 seconds. A leaked spectrometry spreadsheet bore columns labeled CO2, H2O, N, FA, with highlighted and strike through cells, and an eyes-only restriction warning. A redacted incident report displayed access level TS slash HCI with a signature ending in JPL. File properties indicated a creation date of August 28th, 2025, just hours after the intercept attempt. Embedded metadata pointed to a senior project engineer later suspended from the mission. The nature of these materials was unmistakable. They were not public updates, but internal highly sensitive documents. From typeface choices to NASA watermarks and deep space network references, every mark affirmed authenticity. Email screenshots featured urgent subjects such as Atlas Intercept, immediate action required, and telemetry review. Anomaly detected. While no single file revealed the complete truth, collectively, they eliminated doubt that the leak was genuine. The central mystery was no longer whether the files existed but what they disclosed about 3 iAtlas and why so much was censored. 
On July 1, 2025, the Atlas survey in Hawaii detected a new object streaking into the solar system at 130.000 mph. Observatory staff flagged it instantly. This was not a typical comet. Designated 3, I Atlas. Its estimated diameter was 26 kilometers, roughly the length of Manhattan, and it moved faster than any asteroid or comet ever recorded within Jupiter's orbit. Calculations by the Minor Planet Center revealed an eccentricity exceeding 6, meaning it was on a hyperbolic course, leaving the solar system permanently. Most comets from the Oort cloud show eccentricities near 1. 3. I Atlas speed and trajectory proved no origin within the solar system's bounds. By that same day, observatories worldwide confirmed the data. The object's approach velocity topped 58 kilometers per second, unaffected by the sun's gravitational influence. Dr. Lena Takahashi, a veteran survey scientist, recalled that the reading was so extreme the system flagged it as erroneous, prompting manual verification. The plotted trajectory showed a near-perfect inbound line across the ecliptic at a shallow angle tracing backward toward the constellation Lyra, well outside the solar system debris plane. Its inclination, just five degrees off Earth's orbit, suggested either incredible coincidence or possible design. The scale of the body alone was newsworthy, but coupled with the speed and path, astronomers faced the prospect of a wholly alien interstellar visitor. Tracking continued over subsequent days, revealing a strange acceleration profile, models considering gravity, solar radiation, and comet outgassing failed to match observations. Indicators consistently pointed toward an unsettling alternative. The object's movement did not fit any known cometary behavior. Then came the deeper mystery. Surface-level readings hinted at unusual activity. And beneath the icy shell, signs suggested phenomena stranger still. The first leaked imagery from the intercept mission, though blurred at the edges, was clear enough in its core details to ignite fierce speculation worldwide. Three Eyes slash Atlas's exterior bore little resemblance to any known comet. Imaging specialists analyzing the unprocessed frames noticed an anomalous pattern even before color calibration. The surface displayed bands of smooth, seemingly metallic plates disrupted by lines far too straight and evenly spaced to be mistaken for fractures or random layering. In high contrast images, fine seams crisscross the hemisphere in view, not the jagged cracks typical of shattered rock, but rib-like lines aligned for kilometers, intersecting at right angles that defy the untamed nature of ice or dust formations. One analyst, cited in a censored internal chat, dubbed it the radiator problem, alluding to a lattice of raised ridges resembling the cooling fins on spacecraft heat dissipation arrays. Those ridges cast distinctive shadows during sunrise and sunset. Their uniform spacing so evident that anomaly detection software flagged the structure as unnatural. Comparisons with documented cometary bodies unraveled instantly. Halley's Comet, Temple One, and even Borisov all possess rough, cratered, irregular landscapes. Yet this object exhibited a flat, bright reflectivity interrupted by what looked like delineated panel joints. The surface reflected sunlight not diffusely, but in a manner closer to polished metal than porous stone. In one enhanced frame, rotated and contrast adjusted, a distinct diamond-shaped segment appeared, bordered by a shallow groove too precise to be a natural crack. Too clean for a dust ridge, thermal scans deepened the intrigue. Infrared composites showed heat accumulations tracing the rib lines, then venting intermittently from evenly spaced nodes. The pattern was so overt that a senior analyst, in a message now circulating online, remarked, if this is a comet, it's armored. Skeptics in the lab recalculated repeatedly, hunting for natural causes, crystalline ice patterns, layering phenomena, even coincidental impact grids, none fit. The geometry was far too exact, the symmetry too constant across multiple rotations. With each new scan, the investigation broadened, but comparable references in cometary archives remained non-existent. As confidential discussions leaked, external experts joined the debate. Some urged restraint, noting possibilities of image distortion or data noise. Yet the unmistakable order in those panels and radiator-like ridges made dismissal difficult. The key question grew sharper. 
What geological or physical process could form an object of such regularity? With every successive image, the explanation of a natural origin weakened. The inquiry shifted focus from its unprecedented motion to the notion that its shell, sleek, ribbed, and radiating heat, concealed an unprecedented story. At Goddard, Martin Cordner's research team was first to capture a complete infrared spectrum of 3 I Atlas Post Intercept. Their internal records documented 42 gigabytes of raw data, immediately locked under restricted access protocols. Initial readings revealed intense nickel spectral lines, bright, discrete, and far exceeding levels found in any prior comet sample. Normally, nickel appears alongside iron in cosmic dust signatures. Yet here, iron was almost entirely missing. Its absence from every spectrum was more than anomalous in the entire database of observed comets. It was virtually without precedent. The next irregularity emerged from the thermal readings. The Webb telescope's infrared sensors detected rhythmic bursts of heat venting every 90 seconds, almost like a mechanical pulse. The timing was so perfectly consistent that Cordner's analytical team classified it as deliberate rather than accidental. Heat appeared to flow along the rib surface, seems before erupting outward in narrow. Focus jets, unlike the messy, uneven gas eruptions typical of comets. These jets occurred in timed intervals, each coinciding with a brief temperature spike on the object's surface. The official report labeled it a directive motion event, a designation normally used for spacecraft propulsion activity. Inside the flight room, trajectory specialists monitored the object's route through the inner solar system, following each thermal discharge. NASA's intercept logs recorded tiny but exact course corrections, always aligned to sustain the hyperbolic exit path. Gravity alone couldn't explain the adjustments. Solar radiation pressure is steady, not periodic. Natural outgassing from volatile ice would be random, not form tight. Directed sunward plumes, Cordoner's group circulated only heavily condensed summaries to mission leadership. The unprocessed data, nickel traces without iron, synchronized thermal pulses, and associated trajectory shifts remained shielded behind high-level access walls. For the few analysts reviewing it, evidence was growing that 3i Atlas wasn't simply anomalous. It was executing an intentional sequence. Abby Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist who once risked his career on Oumuamua, quickly entered the discussion of the three eyes slash Atlas material. He argued the intercepted data resembled propulsion telemetry, every burst of heat and every trajectory correction matching expectations for ion drive maneuvers. Such engines create thrust not through combustion, but through electric fields accelerating charged particles. As Loeb observed, if one wanted to decelerate after a cross-star migration, one would fire propulsion systems sunward at perihelion. That, according to the data, was exactly what Atlas appeared to do. Yet propulsion wasn't the only puzzle buried in the files. Radio specialists analyzing raw intercept records found faint. Repeating echoes bouncing back from the object at consistent intervals, signals too ordered to be cosmic interference. These clipped returns match precisely with the thermal pulse rhythm. Telemetry engineer Marissa Singh, in a leaked chat later tied to Event Horizon, remarked, It's as if someone is hailing the probe and it's replying. The pattern's too precise to be noise. The most unsettling discovery originated from a fragment retrieved by the interceptor's dust collection system. Analytical reports circulated internally described a speck smaller than a grain of sand, yet exhibiting complex structural patterns. Under electron microscopy, technicians observed a silicon lattice infused with phosphorus traces arranged in micron layer grids, an architecture indistinguishable from a semiconductor wafer. No recorded cometary or interstellar dust particle showed anything remotely similar. The report summary line, though partially censored, retained a chilling phrase semiconductor framework detected. Artificial origin cannot be ruled out. For team members reviewing those findings, the implications shifted dramatically. This was no longer a discussion about unorthodox chemistry or strange kinematics. The data sets, the heat pulses, the echoing signals, the microscopic circuitry all aligned toward one unnerving interpretation. 3i Atlas might not be a comet at all. It could be a relic, a probe, 
or an engineered construct serving an unidentified mission. In September 2025, 24 gigabytes of NASA Intercept mission files on 3i Atlas surfaced online, complete with authenticated timestamps and security insignia verifying their legitimacy. The materials described a 26-kilometer object moving at 130. 000 MPH that abruptly altered its trajectory, something no natural phenomenon could replicate. High-resolution images displayed smooth metallic surfaces and ribbed seems foreign to any known comet. Spectral data indicated refined nickel with negligible iron content and synchronized thermal emissions on a 90-second cycle, directly linked to unexplained path corrections. The most alarming proof came from repeating radio echoes and silicon fragments arranged like artificial circuits. Yet the crucial sections of these documents remain censored. The object's true intent, its place of origin, and whether similar encounters have been hidden from the public are still unresolved. What remains beyond doubt is that 3i Atlas challenges fundamental assumptions about interstellar phenomena leaving the scientific world confronting profound questions about humanity's position in the universe and the boundaries of its understanding.